be replacing an inducer motor on this unit. Turn it on. This is why I'm replacing it. Very noisy and it does not sound good. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug. Clip broke, but whatever. It's gonna be replaced. Now while it's all attached, we're gonna take this out. I'm gonna disconnect this from it. Has to be disconnected anyway. That on the ground. One of the things I was not given was new gaskets, which I'm a little disappointed with. I don't have my truck. Hopefully I have some high temp silicone. If this existing gasket disintegrates on me, go in here. So I'm gonna hold it in place until it's free. Cause you could use the gasket again if it's intact. If not, you gotta peel the whole gasket off. Okay, so it's still intact, which is a good thing. Now, my new motor, right here. We're gonna pop this in. One of the things I would recommend is just to make sure this little set screw is tight before you put it in. Because if it's not, I'm trapped in a gas pipe prison. Then, well, you gotta take it all back apart. So, here we go. Allen keys. You don't wanna have to take it apart after you've just done this, so. Is this the right one? Usually I never get the right one on the first shot, but I should remember it. And that's tight. Now we're gonna come back into this space. In the drill, there's a screw ready to go. So let's bring the gasket up. This is gonna go this way. All right. I could reuse this gasket. Don't tighten any of the screws all the way until you got most of them in so you could make your screw holes line up. So if you crank it tight, it's hard to pivot. Now I'm gonna go tight with the top. Cause I don't have to move it. Okay, I don't need to get a longer 516. And that's all the screw holes. Cause I only have the two left for the exhaust pipe. Which has a clamp, which I'm gonna add a screw to it. We're gonna bring the exhaust pipe in. And well, in the clamp. This is going to be in, and then I'm going to grab a screw so I can pick this up. Let's see, where's it supposed to go? Right here. Take this tubing, if it's damaged or split or anything, replace it. Pop it on for your pressure switch. And 
And then we're gonna bring it over and it doesn't reach. Look at that. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Well, if it didn't, I would just cut the wires off the other one and run it over. Okay, we're connected. Now we're just gonna make sure. Good. Just a little quick. Da -da -da -da. Nothing major because you don't want to strip them. I know I hear click a clunk. I'm good. Especially with this drill. It's got power, but not enough to damage stuff. And now, because there's a call for heat, we're going to test this motor. Let's get a meter. So you always want to make sure your new motor is working correctly. And I think I got to calibrate my meter because sometimes I have problems reading. 1.1 or 0.2 amps as of late so set it to amps point 0.4 5 okay so point 0.3 and the motor is rated for point 0.55 and we are point 0.3 so it's not over amping. Point three, so the motor's running pretty good. We're sparking. We're back on. I replaced this heat exchanger a couple years back. Had a bunch of holes in it. But there you go. That's how to replace an inducer motor. Don't be scared. Don't be timid. If you know how to work on these units, it's just another part of a system that does fail and will need to be occasionally replaced. See like my meter, I don't know if it's worth calibrating or if I should just send it out for a new one. I mean buy another one. Because I think it was my blower. 3.4 so point 0.3 and 0.4 so it's fine it's not over amping or anything I'm gonna replace the meter eventually zero but I know I have amps stuff this small I don't know what it is time for a new meter though there we go 0 0.5 0 0.4 0.5 we're good well like I come up to this motor up here perfect no problem reading anything on amps so there you go. Um, about to close this up and get out of here. It's pretty cold up here on the roof. If this was a basement job, it'd be a little easier. But it's not, so. And on this roof, let's see what we're at. 25 degrees, so. I mean, I know there's some people that it's colder for, but. And today is. Oh, we we'll almost get up to 40. Woohoo! It's going to be warm today. All right. Till next time, I'm out.